And it would be nice if Kawhi would make a cameo. I mean, come on. It would be nice. Reg, what is going on? I do not. I, I, I really wish I could put a finger on what is going on here. This has always been a great organization. Pop is fantastic. Do you know Kawhi at all? I've never heard him a little interview. Bit. We'd never had him on. Ever, ever. No. Uh, I know him a little bit just because he's from the IE Riverside. Um, and I've had a chance to talk to him a little bit. But I can't put a pulse on what's going on. I don't know. I don't know if it's the injury. I don't know if there's bad blood. I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, I'll probably get a better sense when I get over to the arena and I get a chance to talk to some people. But we're talking about one of the top five players in our game that's missed the what, entire 80, 80, yeah. 85% of the Do season. you think he's here next year? Uh, that's a no. If I got to think that long, I, I, I will say no. I hope not because this, this has been a stable organization with superstars. From, you hope that he doesn't leave. I hope he doesn't yeah. leave. Yeah, yeah. He be, he's a great face for San Antonio. I hope he doesn't leave, but there's a lot of sharks in the water waiting. They yeah. are, they're chumming this up. They, out west, as you know, <laughs> there's a team yeah. that is in desperation of a face. But do you think the Lakers, like if they whiff in the offseason, like how big, how important is this offseason? If they don't get LeBron and or Paul George, Kawhi, I think it's going to be their number one target. Does he feel like Los Angeles? I know, you know, it's one thing to be from there, but he still feels like San Antonio where, you know, their stars are, you know, they, right. they're, they're kind of not anonymous, anonymous but, you know, they're, they're quiet. They, they don't. That's his demeanor. Yes. And really, that's his game, other than when he goes crazy on the defensive end. I want Kawhi Leonard to be a lifetime spur. That's what I want. I want to see that. I want, I love when your best players are in small markets. I love LeBron James in Cleveland. That's why I was so disappointed when he went to Miami. You've got to have a balance of power. You know L.A., Chicago, New York, Boston, the big markets, they always get the talent because people feel that's where your endorsements come. In today's age of social media, you don't need to be in a big market to be a superstar. So when you have the MVP, Russell Westbrook, in OKC, I like that. I think that's what's great about football and Aaron Rodgers being in Green Bay. I mean, you got to have superstars in small markets. Kawhi Leonard, LaMarcus Aldridge, Greg Popovich, five championships. I love everything that's about the Spurs. I do. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.